all that you need today. He tells us in Isaiah chapter 46 and in verse 2, here is the people and they tried and tried and tried and it said again, they could not. They stooped down as if with all our strength, with all our power, we'll pull up and we'll be able to get solution. And they bowed down and then it said they gathered their strength all together and they could not deliver the body. Maybe there's a body in your life. And you've tried all you could all the days of your life. All these past years, you said, I'll go there. I'll go there. I'll try that. I'll try that. Everything you have tried failed. Don't give up. Tonight is the night of your breakthrough. What you couldn't achieve in your own strength, what you couldn't achieve in your own power, the Lord has come tonight and divine solution has come to you in Jesus' name. Understand that no matter who you are, no matter where you are, and no matter what power you depend upon, anything on earth here, Everything on earth here will fail to give you the solution you're looking for. It's not here on earth. It comes from heaven. That's why God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, that's you, whosoever, anywhere, whosoever, have been anybody, whosoever, have been any challenge, believes in him will not perish. I invite you to life tonight. I invite you to salvation tonight. I invite you to possibilities tonight. And possibilities will take place in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Human power will fail. Human intelligence will fail. Human possibilities will fail. Human connections will fail. Human power will fail. But there's a God in heaven. The God who loves you. And the God who has brought you here today. And the God who has brought a solution near unto you. The moment you believe, every failure of the past will be cancelled. Every impossibility of your life will be cancelled. And a new life, a new life in Christ, a new life through the Savior, a new life because you become a new creature. That new life will come unto you, and that solution you've been looking for, everything will be settled tonight in Jesus' name. The Word of God tells us that even those who are depending upon the law, Look at Romans, if you have a Bible there, Romans chapter 8 and verse 3. It said, what the law could not do, could not. You know, you have the law before you, Ten Commandments. I will try my best. One, two, three. I'll keep all those commandments. Four, five, six. I'll keep all those commandments. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll keep all the commandments. It doesn't bring solution. You might try for one hour. The next hour, you blow it. You might try for one day, and the next day you are blown it because it is not a man on edge to have solution to the moral problem, the spiritual problem, or the physical problem, or the earthly problem, or the heavenly problem, or the eternal problem. It is not in man. It is as we come to Christ. What the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh. God sent in his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, condemned sin in the flesh. What you have not been able to accomplish by yourself, you link up together with the Lord tonight, you will. You'll be through. You'll have solution. I will have solution. In the connection with the one that came from heaven, 
the Lord Jesus Christ, the name above all names that the Heavenly Father has given unto us. It is in Him we have that divine solution tonight, and you will have it in Jesus' name. There's a serious sin here. You know, we're even talking about having problems in the world solved. And we could not if we don't have the one that brings the divine solution. And there are people that do not understand for us to make it on the final day. You know, over here now, to even solve a clear problem, we cannot without divine solution. And to have any breakthrough here, we cannot without divine solution. And to be able to even keep things together, our families together, our lives together, our will together, our personality together, our health together, our provision together, to even keep anything together here on earth. We cannot accept there is the Lord because without me, you can do nothing. And now to even get to heaven. There is no one who by himself can get to that heaven without the divine Savior, without the Lord, without the one that came from heaven and he wants to take us to heaven. Are you going there? I said, are you going there? Without the Savior, how can you? Look at Hebrews chapter 3 verse 19. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 19 says, So we see that they could not, those are the two words again, they could not enter in because of unbelief. Because of unbelief. But remember, if thou canst only believe, all things are possible. How many things are possible tonight? Salvation is possible. Give me a good amen. Healing is possible. Another amen. Deliverance is possible. The divine solution. Amen. And then having your name written in the book of life is possible tonight. Another amen. amen. Literally, all things in your life, all things in your family, all things in your business, all things anywhere you are, all things on your desires, all things on your prayer requests, all things on joy all peace and all possibilities, all things are possible as you believe tonight. And I thank God I see you believing there. I said, I see you believing there. That means you are trusting the Lord, all things are possible. You have confidence in the Lord, all things are possible. You are connected with the Lord, all things are possible. You say, yes, I understand, by myself I am nothing. By myself, I cannot save myself. By myself, I cannot heal myself. By myself, I cannot deliver myself. But then I come to the Lord and I trust him. I believe him. He died for me. He paid the price on the cross of Calvary. And because it was for me, he did that. I accept that tonight. I believe that tonight. I confess that tonight. Salvation will come to you. Forgiveness will come to you. Redemption will come to you. The power of the Lord will come to you right there, anywhere you are before me here, in that congregation over there, that congregation over there, online, alone by yourself, or is the whole family. I rejoice with you tonight. Divine solution has come for you. Number one, then, is the previous failure without divine solution. But you know, we're talking about I believe, I trust, I confess, I accept, I have faith in the only one that can turn my life around. That me, brings me to point number two. And this is faith. When you say I believe, that's faith. I trust. That's faith. I have confidence. That's faith. I know tonight my problems will go because of Christ who is going to take all the problems away. That's the faith. But it is personal faith. Personal faith. You remember what the Lord said to that man? If thou, you in particular, 
as a person, as an individual. You say, I don't worry what other people do. They believe or they don't believe. I don't worry, I don't mind what other people, how other people act, whether they accept or they don't accept. It doesn't bother me whether the person by my side or the person behind me, whether he's accepting, is believing, is confessing, is having confidence or not, that doesn't bother me. Me as an individual, I believe, and it is that personal faith that will bring a divine solution to your life. And all diverse sicknesses, all diseases, all infirmities, everything will vanish away. Am I there? Say amen. Point number two, then personal faith over diverse sicknesses. Your blind eyes miraculously will open tonight. You are lame. And you have not been able to walk for some time now. All it takes is a belief. And when you believe, your action will match what you believe. Faith and action. Action of faith will produce that healing, that deliverance in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Personal faith, personal faith, the faith coming from your own heart, the faith born in your own mind, your faith that you say, uh, why would I not believe? God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Why would I not believe? Is there anything uh, too hard for the Lord? Why will I not believe Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Healer, the Deliverer, the Redeemer, the same yesterday, today, and forever? Why will I not believe Jesus Christ who is able to heal all manner of sicknesses and all diseases? Why will I not believe? Because God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about doing good and healing all, not some, and healing all, not many, and healing all, not a few, and healing all, not only not a minority, and healing all, and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. And that Jesus is here tonight. And that Jesus is there by your side. And that Jesus is going to, is already there at the moment we mention his name. And then you trust and you believe and say, yes, Lord, that's for me. He will touch you. He will take that sickness away in Jesus' name. Incurable disease will vanish away. All those infirmities, everything will vanish away. And the night problem and the day's problem, everything will vanish away because divine solution of healing, divine solution of deliverance, and divine solution of breaking yoke, and divine solution of setting the captives free has come tonight. It will happen in your life. It will happen in my life. The moment I said, look at what that man said in uh, Mark chapter 9, verse 24. The man said, and straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. When I brought my son to your disciples and they could not heal him. I was already having unbelief. I was already thinking uh, this will never be done. Uh, this child will keep on suffering. Uh, and this spirit of uh, dumbness, everything, the epilepsy will continue forever. When I brought him to the nine disciples and they could do nothing, uh, unbelief was coming in. But now I see you face to face. Lord, I believe. I see you face to face. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. And the moment that man said, I believe, Jesus did it. And the moment anyone says, Lord, I believe, the Lord will do it. Your life, the Lord will do it. 
Tonight, the Lord will do it. At this present time, present moment, the Lord will do it. And look at it. All the people that Jesus helped, all the people that Jesus ruled their problems away, there was one thing with them common to everyone. They were of different backgrounds. They were of different nations. They were of different peculiarities. They were having different problems. But one thing came across everyone, all those people, and it is this, I believe. I believe. You remember Martha, the, the sister of Lazarus, the brother had died. And then Jesus showed up, and Jesus is showing up tonight. I didn't hear your amen. I didn't hear divine solution. Amen. When the Lord shows up in your life, in your family, right there where you are, online, everywhere, and the Lord shows up, divine solution will come. But he requests, he requires something from you. For you from the depth of your heart to say, I believe. And so Jesus appeared to Martha. And then he first of all said, or she said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But then he says something here now, that now I believe. If this had happened before, bad things would not have occurred. My brother would not have died. I would not have been suffering with this sickness. But now I believe. And that believing will bring solution to your life in Jesus' name. There was this man, he was traveling on the way. Reading the Bible, reading the prophet Isaiah. And then there was, this, there was something he had not got. He didn't have salvation. He didn't have forgiveness. He didn't have eternal life. He didn't have the joy of heaven upon his life. And then Philip showed up. And Philip said, sir, do you understand what you are reading? He said, no, I cannot. No, I don't. And then he said, come up to the chariot. And he came to the chariot. And then the place where he was reading was Isaiah. Chapter 53. That Jesus came and took all our sin, all our guilt, all our helplessness. He took everything away. And that the moment we believe is going to take the power of sin away. It's going to take the presence of sin away. It's going to take the pollution of sin away. And it's going to take all the pressure and the pull of sin away from our lives. And then they went on. And when they got to the river, the eunuch of Ethiopia said, Sir, here is water. What hinders me to be baptized? Well, when you hear the gospel, and you believe that gospel and you accept that gospel and you know that it is for you then philip said if you believe with all your heart that jesus is the son of god is the savior is the one that came to deliver us from what we could not deliver ourselves from if you believe thou mayest and then the man said i Believe. Those are the words. That's what the Lord is waiting for tonight in your life. The moment you say, Jesus is Savior, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Redeemer, and I, he didn't ask the people in the chariot, all the others, whether they believed or not, this is personal. And the moment you say tonight, personally, with all my heart and with all my soul, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God and is my Savior and is the one that came to die for me. That power will work in your life and you will be saved. I didn't hear the amen. For the apostle was on the sea in the boat in the ship and there was a great storm. 
They had done everything they could do. And there was no calm. And their lives were in danger. It was like they were going to be buried in that watery grave. They were going to drown. And then the Lord sent an angel that appeared unto Paul. And he said, Paul, cheer up. Don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. Don't panic. Don't worry. Because the Lord will save your life and the lives of all the people that sail with you. And then when he was talking to the people, he mentioned something significant. He said, I believe that it shall be as it was told me. Those are the two words the Lord is looking for. And it is the expression of your personal faith in the Lord. He is Savior, I believe. He is healer, I believe. He is deliverer, I believe. He is redeemer, I believe. He is the one that solves every problem miraculously i believe and the moment you mention that personal faith i believe your faith will go into action it will deliver you tonight i said tonight and how do you manifest your faith you know if somebody just sits down there and folds the hand and closes the eyes and does nothing now. How do you know he has confidence? When I say calm, if you believe me, you rise up and you're calm. When I say this has happened, if you believe, you'll accept and you confess that that has happened. It is your action, personal action, that shows you have personal faith in the Savior, personal faith in the healer, personal faith in the deliverer, when you hear that Jesus wants to save you now, he wants to forgive you now, he wants to take away your sin now, the moment you really believe, you hand over yourself, you surrender yourself completely, unreservedly unto the Lord because he is Savior. And now he becomes your personal Savior. And then he becomes as well your personal healer. Tonight, you are healed. Tonight, you are delivered. And tonight, you are set free. And as you believe that, you confess that with your mouth, and then you have it in your heart. He moves you out of darkness, and he moves you to the light. He moves you out of your predicament, and he moves you into the solution on the basis that you have that personal faith in the Lord. I'm sure you believe. I said, I'm sure you believe. What are you there? I said, what are you there? And at the end of the message, I'm going to challenge you that will put action to your faith and that faith with action will bring the appropriate result in your life in Jesus' name. Number one, previous failure without divine solution. And you don't want to continue like that, just trying and trying and trying. I'm trying my luck. I'll turn over a new leaf. I'll do my best. You know it does not work. Pers uh, the previous failure without, pers uh, without divine solution. Number two, uh, the personal faith over diverse sicknesses. We're getting near your somebody there in Jesus' name. And when you hear that final amen, you know it is there. The miracle of salvation is there. The miracle of healing is there. And the miracle of divine solution will be there in Jesus' name. Point number three now is the present fact. The present fact of the, from the divine Savior. Present fact. What's a fact? A fact is something real, something definite, something that your feeling cannot change. Let me give you an example. I'm feeling cold, I'm shivering, and there's a fact two plus three equals five. 
whatever you feel, however cold you are, however warm you are, that's a fact your feeling cannot change that. That's a fact. If I throw something up, it will come down. That's a fact. Whether I'm short, I'm tall, I'm big, I'm lean, that's a fact. Your stature cannot change a fact. Well, here is a fact. If I have good legs, I can stand up and I can stand straight. Well, whether you believe it or not, whether another person accepts it or not, doesn't matter. That is a fact. There is a spiritual fact. And that spiritual fact has been announced by the Lord Jesus Christ. And when he announces a fact, that fact is a present fact. It's a fact that will be fulfilled. Whatever you're feeling, it doesn't really matter. And whatever your stature, it doesn't really matter. And whatever your background, it doesn't really matter. And in fact, let me go ahead and say, whatever religion you believe in, doesn't really matter. Your religion, your knowledge, your ignorance, your power, your utterance, whatever, does not change a fact. Now, as I talk about the facts, these are things that the Lord himself had said. I'm coming back to Mark chapter 9. I'm reading from verse 25. When Jesus saw the people and they were running together, then Jesus rebuked the foul spirit, saying, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, come out of him and it came out immediately that's a fact when jesus says something and jesus tells a demon and jesus tells an evil spirit and jesus tells an evil power come out the fact is whatever you feel whatever you think whoever you are that evil spirit must come out and tonight I come with the name of Jesus. And tonight I come with the fact from Christ. And when I say that sickness, that epilepsy, that demonic problem, that yoke be broken, the fact is whatever you feel, that evil power will come out. And that incurable disease, when I, when I mention the name of Jesus, that evil spirit and that demonic problem and that infirmity, impossibility, it will become possible in Jesus' name. I was waiting for a good, good amen. Now, there was something Jesus said in Matthew chapter 19. In Matthew chapter 19, reading from verse 26, Jesus said, with men, this is impossible. But not with God, because with God all things are possible. Isn't that a fact? This is impossible with man, but it's possible with God. Why? Because as high, higher than the earth, as heaven is, so is God higher than man. So is the power of God higher than the power of men. And so if there is something in your life, the sin you couldn't deal with and the sin you couldn't overcome with man, this is impossible, but not with God. For with God, tell me, all things, all things, all things are possible. Your salvation, somebody might say, that man has gone too far. He can never be saved. Saul of Tarsus has gone too far. He can never be saved. With man, this is impossible, but not with God, because with God, all things are possible. And I want to tell you a fact here tonight. You will be saved. Yeah. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And as you call on the name of the Lord tonight, and you say, yes, I know I'm a sinner, a terrible sinner. I know I'm a sinner. And men think I cannot be saved. I've gone too far, but I come to you tonight. And I know, 
as I call on the name of the Lord, what appears impossible with men is possible today with God. I will be saved. Your salvation will come. Maybe there's an incurable disease. You've gone to this hospital. You've gone to that helper. You've gone to that healer. And you've gone everywhere asking for healing. You've paid a lot of money. And you have been searching here and there. And lo and behold, you have not been healed. Here is the fact. Here is the fact. With men, human beings, with men, Human efforts with men, human power, this is impossible, but not with God, for with God all things are possible. And therefore, the fact tonight, remember, the fact doesn't look at your feeling, doesn't look at your cold, your heart, your tall, your short, your man, your woman, your child, your adult. A fact is always a fact. And the fact is, what is impossible for man is possible with God. Divine solution will make everything possible. I said divine solution will make everything possible. It is like that in your life. Maybe you have tried and tried and you have prayed for something. And you as you prayed by yourself, no solution came. And it's, it appears before I have, because I've prayed, because I've fasted, because I've done this, I've done that, I've gone here, I've gone there, and solution has not come. You think maybe solution can never come. You must remember the nine disciples of Jesus, they had tried and tried and tried and they failed. And when Jesus came, what was impossible? For those nine disciples became possible when Christ came. And Christ has come. He has come to you right there. And he's going to touch your life right there. And even though you have prayed before, you have fasted before, you have gone to you know, some pilgrimage before, and what you were looking for had not happened, the fact is with men, this is impossible, but not with God, because with God, all things are possible. That's why Jesus said that tonight, whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe that you have received, and it shall be yours. If you just have a grain of mustard seed fit there, not based on your feeling, the very fact that you have faith in the almighty God that God cannot fail, that Jesus cannot fail, that the word cannot fail, that everything Christ has given out as a fact in his word will be fulfilled. As you believe that tonight, the fact will come through. Divine solution will come. Salvation will come. Healing will come. Deliverance will come. A miracle will come to your life in Jesus' name. There's something beautiful about the fact that Jesus mentioned. Let me just give you the word of the fact. Whosoever, whosoever, whosoever. That means you're there, you're there. Anyway you are, whosoever believeth in him, will not perish. That sin will not destroy you. He'll forgive you. He'll set you free. He'll break the power of sin out of your life in Jesus' name. Whosoever, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever, that means, that's the fact, whosoever, however you feel there, and no matter where you're standing there, where you're sitting there, just understand the fact that cannot change the matter and the fact that is going to bring divine solution to your life even today. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved shall be healed, shall be delivered, shall be set free. And the rope and the yoke that binds you, everything will be broken in Jesus' name. The fact of 
whosoever. Number two is the fact of wheresoever, wherever, wherever you are. Here at the Papa Ground, there is the location where you are. Wheresoever, wherever, whosoever, wheresoever you may be, and there in the other country, and there online, whosoever and whatsoever, whosoever, wheresoever, number three, it's whatsoever. Whatsoever you are asking tonight will be done. Whatsoever. Remember, it's a fact, it's a fact. Your feeling doesn't have anything to do with this. Your feeling strong or feeling weak or feeling powerless or whatever has nothing to do with this because it is whosoever, it is wherever, wheresoever, and it is whatsoever asking for salvation tonight, salvation has come. Whatsoever. Asking for healing tonight, healing has come. Whatsoever. Asking for deliverance tonight, whatsoever, deliverance has come. Asking for a breakthrough tonight, as we mentioned the name of Jesus, because it is whatsoever, and it is a fact that whatsoever breakthrough will be given to you tonight, in Jesus' name. You have a problem, child, and you're saying this child is a great problem for me and for our family. We've spent everything, and he's nothing better, and she's nothing better. Remember, it's whatsoever, whatsoever you present to the Lord tonight. Divine solution has come, and that whatsoever problem will be solved in Jesus' name. I've been trying to climb this mountain and then get over and move over and yet that strength to climb the mountain and to get to the top of the peak and to achieve what I know God has created me for has been impossible. Remember whatsoever as you are asking tonight, God is going to answer your prayer. And it is the present fact. It's not a fact of years ago. You know what I'm talking about? Two plus three equals five. It's a fact, present fact. That was a fact yesterday. That was a fact 2,000 years ago. Two plus three equals five. That's going to be a fact tomorrow. This is a fact of whosoever, of wheresoever, and whatsoever you ask, any demand you are making, any prayer request you are making, uh, that the Lord has given us this fact, that this fact will be realized tonight. It doesn't depend on time. It doesn't depend on the age. It doesn't depend on any other thing. Uh, Christ is still Christ wherever you are. And the word of God is still the word of God wherever you are. And the breakthrough is going to come to you wherever you are. The fact of faith and the fact of breakthrough and the fact of salvation and the fact of deliverance, healing, and the fact of divine solution fulfilled in your life tonight in Jesus' name. If you believe, give the divine solution. Amen. The previous failure, we're now going to go beyond the previous failure. All the previous failure, they're going to be swept away from your life tonight in Jesus' name. All those things will be of the past and that failure will not follow you out of this place tonight in Jesus' name. And then the personal faith, the personal faith, Lord, I believe. You want salvation? Lord, I believe. You want healing? Lord, I believe. You want deliverance? Lord, I believe. You want a breakthrough? Lord, I believe. And it is that personal faith that makes it possible in your life tonight in Jesus' name. And then the present fact is true with him. Present fact, it is true with her. Present fact, it is true with all. And the present fact, it is true with me. It is true with me. I said it is true with me. I said it is true with me. And whatsoever you ask, wherever you are, whosoever you are tonight, it is done in Jesus' name. It's bowed and eyes closed. 
heads bowed and eyes closed, the Lord wants to give you the first solution, the salvation, an important solution, the salvation. He wants to, all the things you couldn't do. I couldn't overcome the sin by myself. I try, I fail. I try, I fail. I try, I fail. But I know that Jesus is Savior. I know that Jesus will take my sins away. I know that Jesus died for me on the cross of Calvary. And whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That salvation is coming to you right now. I can't hear your amen. amen. Everywhere, everywhere, the guilt of sin will be taken away. Everywhere, the power of sin will be broken. Everywhere, there will be a turning around in your life. Sin will go out and salvation will come in. Darkness will go out and light will come in. Impotency, impossibility will go out and potency, power, possibilities will come in. And your salvation will happen now. And so as it's about and eyes are closed, you want this divine solution of salvation. Left hand side, right in front of me, on the right over there, anywhere you are, in any congregation, any country, online, you know that the divine solution of salvation is presented to you now. Just raise up your hand where you are. You're saying, yes, Lord, I believe. Salvation is for me. I believe. Forgiveness is for me. I believe. What I could not do by myself, the Lord will bring that salvation, divine solution to me now. Lord, I believe. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. Raise up your hand there. Don't waste time. This is an opportunity for you that you will forgive your sin. He'll cleanse your soul. He'll cleanse your life. And he will take the guilt and the condemnation away. And salvation, divine solution will come to you right now. Raise up that hand. God bless you there. God bless you there. As we're raising up your hand, stand up there. Stand up and say, yes, Lord, it's me. It's me. I believe. I believe. I believe. Personal faith. For your salvation. Lord, I believe you died for me to take away my sin. You died for me to clear all my doubts and all my guilt and all my condemnation away. Lord, I believe that personal faith. Tell the Lord right there where you're standing up. You believe that Jesus died for you. You believe that he's going to cancel all the condemnation, the punishment of your sin right now. You believe that Christ is going to bring you into his kingdom right now. Yes, Lord, I believe personal faith, personal faith, personal faith. I believe. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord. And then understand this is the present fact. Fact. A fact that your feeling cannot change. That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Salvation has come. Tell the Lord right there. Remember whosoever. Remember wheresoever. And remember whatsoever. That salvation is available there. Open your mouth and tell the Lord, O oh Lord, I turn away from my sin. I repent of my sin. I'm sorry for all the bad things I've done. Even if I tried to turn over a new leaf, I cannot save myself. But I trust in you. And I believe you. Lord, I believe. And as you believe, the fact of your salvation will be confirmed right there. While you're standing up, let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all these young and old men and women, boys and girls, who are surrendering their lives to the Lord Jesus right now. And as the personal faith, as the present fact, that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Let your salvation be theirs right now in Jesus' name. Say amen. 
Let forgiveness come to them right now in Jesus' name. And let your spirit be a witness in every one of their hearts right now. They are saved in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for the confirmation. We know that the present faith, personal faith, and the present fact will take effect in every life and the salvation for everyone who has called, who has believed right now in Jesus' name. We thank you because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. They'll come to you and they will chat with you a little. And those of us online, uh, you know, you've given your life to the Lord. Look at the screen. You'll see all the information you need there. Respond and let all the previous failure be something of the past that will not come again. And then your personal faith in the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ is intact. And then the present fact of your salvation will be confirmed from heaven. Deliverance is coming to you. And the power of heaven will be manifested in your life in Jesus' name. Remember, manifesting faith for your divine solution. Manifesting faith. You forget the previous failure. You've tried before, you failed before, you fasted before, you've done whatever, and there was no solution. Today, solution has come. Yeah. Remember, personal faith. The moment you say, I believe, you have no reason to doubt because God is still God. And with God, all things are possible. Your situation is possible with God. And your predicament can be rolled away by God. And your disease will be healed by God. Remember that present personal faith. And as you manifest that personal faith in the Lord, faith cannot fail. But you must put action to your faith. That whatever you were not able to do before, as you hear the final amen, you know that God who cannot fail, that God has touched your life, has touched your problem, and then you manifest that personal faith, it will be done in Jesus' name. And remember, there is a present fact. The fact that whosoever, there's no discrimination. God is no respecter of persons. You are blind, he'll open your blind eyes. You are lame, you'll rise up and walk. You have anything swollen in your body, he'll take the swelling away. Whether the swelling is at the back or in the tummy or in the leg or in the head, with God all things are possible. That is the present fact. It will be done in your life in Jesus' name. You brought anyone deaf and dumb, the fact is God is going to set them free. And you brought anyone having mental problem, the fact is God is going to set that person free. And remember that fact cannot be changed by your feeling, by your stature, whether you're a man, you're a woman, whether you're in the crowd, you're alone by yourself, that fact is going to be fulfilled right now in Jesus' name. So if you have any problem, lay your hand where you have the problem. And then we're going to pray and the fact will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Wherever you are online, a miracle is coming your way now. In another country, any nation, a miracle is coming your way now. And there, or you're in the congregation here, you're going to have your miracle face to face in Jesus' name. It will be done. The moment you say, I believe, it is done. And after the final amen, you check up yourself. Power 
It's already released upon your life. Raise up that hand and lay your hand in the place where you have the problem, a miracle coming to you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because we know with you all things are possible. What has been impossible for men in our lives, we know with you tonight, it is possible, it will be done in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, you touch everyone, turn everything around and bring that mighty supernatural divine solution, miracle solution to every problem represented here tonight and there everywhere in every nation in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that insanity come out in Jesus' name. That yoke I command be broken in Jesus' name blind eyes, whether it's one eye blind or two eye blind or dim eyesight, however long has been there, the Lord touch you right now and open those blind eyes in Jesus' name. Any swelling on the neck, at the back, in the tummy, on the leg, in the armpit, anywhere, that swelling I command you, come out in Jesus' name. I pray that those broken bones will be mended now come together and be healed in Jesus' name. Stroke, paralysis, I send the power of God upon you right there now. Rise up and walk in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who are deaf or dumb or both, I pray you touch them now. Deaf spirits come out. Those spirits come out. And Lord, I pray that you give them speech without any impediment, a miracle without any limitation in Jesus' name. Incurable diseases like cancer, I command that cancer be healed in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis be healed in Jesus' name. And all those nightmares caused by evil power, evil spirit be delivered in Jesus' name. I pray now for everyone from the top of there to the tip of the toe, every part of their body, wherever they are, in the hospital, here on the ground, so in any congregation, any nation, any house, anywhere, I send forth your power right now. Set them free in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you. Thank you for healing. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for redemption. Thank you for divine solution. It is done in Jesus' name. Let there be confirmation everywhere now. In Jesus' name I pray. It is done. It is done. Check up yourself right there. Put action to your faith. Action to your faith. What you couldn't do before, do it now. The Lord has healed you. Divine solution has come to the sickness, to the oppression, to the affliction. Buses aren't going yet, so you don't leave. Just stay where you are until we are done, until after the last amen. The program is not over. Stay where you are. Miracle, 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 testimony time. Testimony time. Yes, check yourself. Shout hallelujah. Let the ushers bring them out as you see the miracle in your body, in your life. Those who couldn't walk before, rise up and walk now. You couldn't see before, open your eyes and begin to see. You brought anybody deaf or dumb, speak to them. They can hear now. They can speak now. Any swelling there that has been there in your body, check it up, and you see it's gone. What you couldn't do before, begin to do now. Move that hand, move that leg, bend and raise, raise yourself again. The miracle has happened. Let us all stay back and be ready to listen to the great testimonies of the great things our God has done. It's testimony time. Those who came out before and we couldn't listen to your testimony, let's uh, get ready. We want to listen to those testimonies. And all who have received one miracle or the other, come out quickly. You are in the wheelchair. Jump up. Begin to walk. The power of God has touched you already. Divine solution is there. Divine miracle. Divine solution. Divine wonders. Signs have already come into your life, into your body, into your family. 
you have received. You have received. Just check up, and as you see the miracle come out quickly, we want to listen to you. Let our pastor please attend to those who are out for testimony. Let our pastors attend to them. Let's get them ready. Let's line them up. We want to begin to listen to testimonies. We want to begin to listen to testimony. Let's have the orchestra around as we want to begin to listen to the testimony. Testimony. It's testimony time. And it's going to be a miracle time. You will receive. Don't go yet. Stay. No buses will be leaving yet. We are to rejoice together. Worship God together. Magnify the Lord. Praise God together for what he has done. Everybody, stay where you are and expect blessing, miracles, divine solution. We want to receive more and more and more from the Lord. All who want to give testimony to God's glory tonight, please come to the front hands, to the left hand side where I'm pointing to now, the left hand side in front, and our leaders are there to attend to you. Let's get ready. Expect more and more miracles as we listen to the testimony. More miracles. More demonstration of the power of God. If you are there, you have received. You have to show your gratitude to God for what he has done in your life. You have to appreciate God for the miracle you have received. Don't hide the miracle, the blessing of God. You need to testify. 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 Come out and testify so that everybody can rejoice with you and everybody can praise God with you and your testimony will increase the faith of others and bring miracles to the life of others as they hear your testimony, as they believe. Miracle. Miracle. Are we ready now? Quickly, let's get the testifiers ready. Want to begin to listen to the testimony. We're expecting you to come out and testify. Our God is a miracle working God. Miracle worker. He has done it. He has done it. Come and testify. Come and give God the glory for the miracle. Let's have the first testifier. Tell us your name and where you come from, what the challenge was, and what God has done for you. It's happening over there. Bring them out. Bring them out. As we're listening to the testimony, bring them out. I can see the crutches up there. Yes, the first to appointment day again, the doctor say my situation is bad, they now admit me again. I spent nine days in the hospital again, not doing anything on my own. When they discharged me, when I came back to my house, I couldn't do anything on my own. My husband would bath me, would do everything for me before we would go to work. I always lie down, not standing up from my bed, almost two months. That day, that they started this crusade. I told my husband I want to attend the crusade, but I cannot walk to the church. Even going carry me to the church, if he check me, all my body is paining me. It's as if I carry the whole head, head on my head. Very heavy. All my body is heavy. All my body is paining me. I cannot turn on the bed. If I want to turn, my husband has to turn me. Ah, the thing was so serious. 
the first day of the crusade, I look unto God, I cry, I say, God, I connect in my bedroom. I was lying down. My children connect me. The following day, I have a testimony. I had a testimony from Menugu. I had another one from uh, London of Ebola, of um, uh, coronavirus. I said, God, if somebody that is in outside country will get his own healing, what of me in Nigeria here that's connected in my room? Lord, you will visit me. That day I cried through all night. The third day, when our GS was preaching, he mentioned my problem. That that pain you are having, and that place that you cannot stretch forth, today you are going to get your divine touch. I say it's my turn today. I stand up. After the, I begin to pray when the prayer was going on. I said, Jesus, today you visit me. If you didn't visit me today, I will not sit down and I will not sleep. After the amen, my brethren, it's as if they pour me cold water. My body that was hot, all the heaviness, I was hearing something moving from my leg. I said, I'm, I can't understand. That thing was moving as if they are pulling my cloth. Gradually, gradually, gradually to my head. Immediately, I just hear something, boom! I laugh. I say, Satan, you have been put into shame. Immediately, my hand, since I got the accident, I cannot stretch this hand. My hand was like this that day as I was praying. Immediately, I do my hand like this. I can stretch it without pain. My brethren, when I was in the hospital, this pregnancy want to go. Even when I came back home, every day pushing as if I want to give birth. But immediately that prayer that day, everything vanished. Now I can stretch my hand, even the breaking of my head. No more pain, no more pain on my leg, no more pain on my body. I give God the glory. Hallelujah. If you are here today, believe God. As I connect in my home, I get it. You will get your own today. Praise Amen. the Lord. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. All pains, all legs, all oppression. An hindrance of being able to stretch the hand, everything disappeared. And God, the God of miracle, our divine solution, God, is giving us solution. You receive your own also tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's listen to the next testifier. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. My name is Sister Faith Hajuwabi. By the grace of God, I'm from... Uh, Katampe 2 in Ajegunle group of district in Abuja. During the, the uh, divine touch, my father just called me who we not want to go to the church. That he wants to go to the church. That when are we having our Sunday school? I said, Baba, there is no need waiting for Sunday school. Right now, there is divine touch program going on. Just go to any deeper life close to you. And my father went. When he now came back in the evening, he called me. He said, oh, I should thank you. He was thanking me. I said, thank God, Baba. He became healed of the sickness that was worried him. He said his body, he was, he was, he felt very light. And my father received salvation. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, right from that time till now, right now he's in the program. He's been attending the fellowship. Something happened this day. You know, my children were coming from the school, and their school board had an issue. But some, God is awesome. They were inside the school bus, and a woman just called them, leave there. They carried them away. Not too long, a tipper just came and cleared the school bus. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! The Lord rescue my children. Hallelujah! Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord touched the Father, saved his soul, healed his body, and also the Lord delivered our children from death, from destruction. God of miracle, God who gives divine solution, is here. His power is at work. He has done it before, he's doing it again. Expect and receive. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Peace. John, I was the woman that they gave a flyer. I met with the woman of God. I 
after our discussion, she get, I told her my problem, that I'm having leg pains for years. And she now said they have, she now told me that there is a program in Papa's Grant that God will heal me. I said, Amen. She now gave me the flyer. And I, she now gave me the flyer. I went to office. The pain still continue. And I don't know what to do again. I said, God, what will I do? I now took that flyer, placed it on my leg, my, especially my left leg. After some time, I now feel, I said, let me go and ease myself. I stood up. I now feel relieved. As if I was carrying load before. My body was not light. And I said, eh? It's like God is doing something, you no. Know, where the program has not even started. I said, God. Immediately I got home, I shared it with my people. I still leave the flyer on my leg. I now told my people, this is what I'm seeing. You. I said, God. And I left the flyer on my leg till daybreak. I said, I will not remove it because I've seen something. When I got to office, I called one of my colleagues. I said, ah, come and see you, the flyer that your pastor wife gave me. I placed it on my leg, especially my left leg, the leg. I could not feel the pains again. Even the swallow, I cannot feel it again. Yes, I'm even talking to you now. I can't feel that pain on this my right leg. This is my left leg again. I, my, I worship in mountain of fire. I just bless the name. In fact, God, I thank you for healing me. I know he will be perfect. Even the, 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 the right leg in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I, thank you, Jesus, for what we have started in my life. God, I don't know where to. God, thank you. Yeah, put your hands together for Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. You can see the excitement of the um, miracle recipient. The Lord did it for her even before the program started. Just with the flyer, with the ambulance upon her leg, the problem was gone. And uh, much more than that, the Lord will do for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. A bigger amen. 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 Believe him is a miracle working God. The next testifier now. We have been bangiji. We have been so many years of Christy. Now go to my bangiji. Gani na agaba jamang. Domi mbaye na abinde ala ya iman mana chicken wana dere. Two dege shak two thousand and ten mona. Muna wata hudu ga kwana goma shia bako.
Sister, please. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! His name is Brother Moses. I pray, God. And uh, by the grace of God, he's born again. This uh, uh, situation, uh, problem happened to him 2010. When he was working in, uh, in, the, in the farm, they were sawing wood. Then the wood fell from up and fell on the, on the, on the, the lap and broke the bones there. And since then, this man has been on these clutches. Praise the Lord. Been on these clutches, but he said by the grace of God that even when our GS come uh, visit us in Abuja or, uh, or we have any program, that he always believed God that God has healed him. But the kind of power that he felt, this, this one was different from others. And something was telling him that he should rise up and walk. He should rise up and walk. And he saw himself walking, manifesting faith. And that is how he has been walking. He walked from down that place to this place where we gave our, he, he, we, we came here to give our testimony. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord has healed him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord has healed him and the healing is permanent. In Jesus' name, many years affliction gone, and the Lord is still working. Next testifier. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Yanabo Blessing. I'm standing here to testify the glory of God, what God has done for me. It happened May this year. I woke up with an eye pain. My face got swelled up and like rashes. Before you know it, pumps water. And after that, I went to the hospital and the treatment was taken. I was going up soon and on just like that, breathing here and there. It was still there. Although the face clear, but the pain we are still there. I was feeling smoke in my eye. I always feel as if there is smoke in my eyes. And because of that, I always, uh, uh, tears always come out of my eyes. So when I came to this program, I, even before now, I've been practicing that God Almighty, I'm going to receive my own healing. I used the anvil, I did different things. I was praying, but coming to this place, God did a wonder for me. Praise the Lord. This solution center. This solution that I have come to receive today will permit the name of Jesus. When the rain was falling, you know, there was no place for us to enter. So we are under that tree there. And uh, we started praying under the rain. And the process of praying. The second time again. The thunder blast and the short power and I the felt light in my eye, eye and immediately and the pains I feel heaviness on my eye here and the pains everything the the tears that always run out every no pain I don't feel anything even I cannot lay my hand on my my eye like this I'll be feeling the pain and the scratch and hotness everything vanish praise the Lord hallelujah amen the thunder that blasted was from heaven the mighty power of god the devil couldn't use that against her just believe any situation or circumstance the rain the thunder you don't need to worry the lord has done it for her you do your own amen Next testifier. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. By the grace of God and by name, blessing Omotayo. 
And I really want to bless the Lord for what God has done in my life and even in my family's life. Praise the Lord. I had serious academic challenge while I was studying in the UK, and it was like my study was going to be cut short. So I informed our mommy, Mommy Esther, and she prayed with me. And to the glory of God, the Lord took charge, and I could complete my study successfully. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. While I came back to Nigeria, I traveled down to Lagos to seek for a job. And on the process, I heard my dad was ill, and he was unconscious. So I contacted our mommy. She said God will heal him. Getting back to Delta State, his condition was so critical. So I couldn't do anything. I called her. She prayed. He stayed in the hospital. The pains were just so much. But just like that, from hospital to hospital, and I blessed the Lord. The Lord heard her prayers and the prayer of the man of God, and he was healed and discharged. He went for a checkup. The doctors, a doctor saw his report, the x-ray report, and was like, are you the owner of this? Is this the person? He said, you're not supposed to think well. You're not supposed to walk and all the rest. But to the glory of God, he said he's the owner and he's perfectly whole. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Finally, before the last crusade that had at Enugu State, I had serious pains on my chest. The pains were so painful, like a stabbing pain at my back. And I was like, God, what is this? Am I going to die this way? Even to cry, I couldn't cry. I said, God, what is this? And I went to the hospital. The doctor said it was ulcer. And he gave me antacid suspension. He gave me omeprazole and all the rest. So I went to the tablet. I said, I'm not going to use this. Praise the Lord. So when my mom came to hear that I didn't use all the drugs, she was like, why? I said, crusade is here. Why should I be taking this? Of God, claiming my healing, and to the glory of God, the pain disappeared. And I'm every which whole. Praise every the Lord. Every which whole. Praise the Lord. Academic issue solved. And the bad issue. You know, the God is healing. And for ourselves, complete deliverance from us. Sir. The Lord is good. Our God is good. He is working miracles. He keep on working miracles. For now, let's just have the next testifier. Next testifier, quickly. Praise Media the Lord. Section. Let's get ready. Praise the Lord. Go. I have a problem. The problem is that if I want to go and urinate, I will, my name is Bro Saturday of Kisame. And if I want to urinate, I will hurry up. And it started small, small. It came a time that before I urinate, I will wait on my clothes. Then I told my wife. My wife said that, okay, I should visit hospital. I said, okay, but now I don't have money. And I thank God that uh, the divine connection was just touching. Then during the divine connection, and I raised up my hand, I touched my private part, and that was the end of it. And if I want to urinate now, I can stop and wait. I can control it now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord heal him of abnormalities in his uh, urination system. God has done it, and his name will be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Media crew, media section, are we set? Divine, 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 divine,
divine healing that God has given to me through the divine touch at the program Enugu. So before the program, I was having toothache. And the toothache was very, very serious. See, I cannot resist the pain. The pain was so severe that to eat, to I have a restless night, I cannot sleep. So I have, I, I have said to myself that this program is designed for my healing. And uh, you see that when the program started, see that the pain was so severe. Then I prove, I challenge myself that I cannot go home with this pain. And I challenge my faith. On the third day of the program, by the man of God minister, he minister and pray. And, and he said, said that we should lay our hands where we are having problem. And I lay my hands on my teeth. Then I believe in that, that very night, I sleep, sleep like a baby. Praise the Lord. So from that very time up to date, there's no pain. I can eat anything. I can sleep well. Praise the Lord. As you challenge your faith, as you believe, God will do your own in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord! I'm from uh, Ikoboha, Oroko, Pini City, Edo State. My name is Sister Ayahun Philomena. By the grace of God, God has really saved me and delivered me. I was rushed to the hospital, half dead, on the 20th of August, 2021. And I was there, I don't even know anything again. I don't know. Not is after on, uh, not is until after four days, before I realized where I was. And uh, by the grace of God, I cannot sleep. I cannot no rest. The whole chest, the throat, everything was as if they were locked up. I cannot eat. I'll try, try, try my best, no way, but the doctor later discharged me, and that is how I came out. Thinking that I am already old, but during the program or at Calabar, as the man of God finished praying, because I managed to go there, then I received my healing. And now, what I cannot do before, I am not doing them. I put that I cannot eat before. I am not eating. See my Bible I cannot carry before. I cannot carry it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My name is Grace Okolo. I'm from Ikobaoka Central District. My name is Grace Okolo. I'm from Ikobaoka District, Edo State. My testimony is when our pastor, Pastor W.F. Kumui, came to Enugu for a program. That was when I got my healing. Then the first healing was I was having a severe headache at the first global program. I was having a severe headache. At the second day, after the prayer of the man of God, I got my healing. That was my first testimony. But my second testimony is that five years, I've been having this body inching. Enter, I take my bath. Enter, I take my bath, my body will be inching me. So make me as if they pour has or something inching on my body. Afternoon, morning, if I take my bath, it's if I, if I torment my body with fire. So I was so tormented. I plead on, the, I plead on my dad, I say, God, I say that. I have this body change and I take my bath. I also explain to my mom 